Superbase Launch Week 5 starts on Monday the 15th of August. Here's some highlights from when we met the Guild to talk about our new GraphQL announcement as part of Launch Week 4. We are announcing that GraphQL uh, is now available on Superbase and that's uh, using our open source implementation that we announced in the last launch week actually and so this time we have installed it on all new projects and it's available for use and uh, yeah we're pretty pretty excited by it hi i'm uh, oliver i'm the lead dev on pg graphql which is the graphql solution at superbase and i'm going to give you a quick run through getting started with graphql on the platform basically here we're going to go to the sql editor there's two ways to enable the extension um, you can enable it here by running create extension pg underscore graphql or you can come to the database section here and you just turn it on within the ui that we provide for extensions here it was turned on so we'll turn it off and um, we also provide well we don't provide this but you can access a graph graphical uh, interface if you're familiar with graphql then you will be able to uh, uh, see the docs here um, where you can actually uh, do queries <laughs> mutations yeah so here we're seeing mutations might have to try and sync up with the video here so that all these endpoints are um, multiple so delete many insert many, update many, and this at most parameter allows you to make sure that you don't have too many um, records being impacted by a single query. Uh, so if you want to make sure you're only deleting one record, set your at most to one. Uh, this is the SQL. It corresponds with the GraphQL API that we were just looking at. The accounts table, um, broadly speaking, the tables become types and the uh, columns become fields. If you've written row-level security policies for the RESTful endpoints in the past, those will work by default with uh, no additional configuration required. We have basically been working in collaboration with the guild who we'll introduce very soon when we join, uh, get them to join. Hello. Hey guys, how are you? We're good. Great to be here. Thanks for, hey. thanks for joining. <laughs> I'm really excited to talk through the the example that you built and the collaboration that we've been doing for PG GraphQL, um, making sure that it's yeah really sound and, and working with everything that you're doing. So um, yeah, the Guild is a group of a uh, lot of open source developers. Um, we maintain probably the most popular libraries uh, in the ecosystem. Uh, we're also members of the GraphQL Foundation uh, and help the foundation project themselves and the spec and things like that and we've been, doing it, we've been doing it for many years and the members are all like completely distributed around the world and um, yeah and uh, we're just basically trying to make GraphQL easier and better for everyone. Um, one of the things that we've done as part of today is we've asked the guild to help us build an example application. So if you're looking for the application we have uh, announced on the blog today um, GraphQL is now available and you just need to scroll down and then you will see that there is an example application which is a Hacker News clone which I actually have up here. Um, maybe you can talk us through um, what this is Lauren. Um, I can just scroll down and click in wherever you want. Yeah so basically we decided to build a, a Hacker News clone which is called Super News. And uh, the functionality that we chose is that we have some kind of page where you can post your links with a title and then you can comment on it, you can upload it, you can download it. And based on that, you have, like, we have a full-blown login system, which is powered by uh, SuperAuth, which is awesome. Like, it took me basically three minutes to implement authentication with that. I was super impressed by that, I must say. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we have our feed route, which shows like the ranked items. If you upload it, it has a higher rank and stuff like that. And we've got some comments as well. Exactly. That's like a detailed route with all the comments. Great. And so it's all open source. So if you want to see the, the code itself and how it was built, how the schema looks, um, you want to fork it, you want to contribute to it, you want to try it out, you want to see the te technology and how it was done, it's all open source. How long did this one take to build? Overall, I would say like 10 hours in total. Okay, so. very cool. And 
what was it like to work with uh, PG GraphQL compared to maybe another GraphQL implementation? Were there any things that you found that were different or limited or um, things that you still need to see in the extension or something unique? Like first, I want to say, in terms of like working with GraphQL and what PG GraphQL provides me as a GraphQL API with all the features of a GraphQL API, I got everything I need, right? I, I could like get the schema. Like I didn't actually build the PG GraphQL API myself. It's, it has been done by TT and I basically just worked as a consumer of the API. I got the schema and then I set up my GraphQL code gen and I just started exploring the schema, what is available. And that's the same GraphQL experience you always have if you've got a fully typed schema. And then I started just writing my operation documents for like the data that I want to fetch. And in terms of that experience, it was the same as always, right? And then some things are like special to a super base, obviously, because for example, uh, the, let's take the um, example where we had the, yeah, let's just share some code. Let's go to the submit form. Like uh, doing here, we are writing our mutation into our file with code gen. We are generating uh, a typed code for this. And then within our React component, uh, we can just use our mutation and we have a fully typed function for actually executing or mutation. So if we're looking at the form, we can fill out our title, our URL, and then we just call that mutation. What's special to Superbase here, for example, is the error handling, because usually uh, every GraphQL API does their own kind of way of error handling, but like in general of just consuming data and sending mutations, you get the same GraphQL experience. Like I think uh, overall, this is very exciting. I think uh, I think the holy grail of app development is that you want to start really easy and really fast, but not with something that will get you stuck as you scale and as you grow. And here, I think, first of all, you adding, like, first of all, what you did in Superbase in general is really exciting because before that, like the alternatives you would get stuck. Like you would maybe build very fast, but then you would get stuck. And as you scale, you will basically be, you know, bundled into something that you can't control at all. And with Superbase, that's exactly the opposite. And now adding GraphQL, I think, you know, what Lauren, Lauren showed is basically that, you know, you, Lauren showed, I, I don't know if like everyone understood it, but Lauren showed really advanced GraphQL features. And like you said, he built it really quickly. Why was the GraphQL support built as an extension? Uh, we cannot deploy new extensions to host the DBs like AWS RDS. And so the reason we built it as, a, as an extension was to make it easier to hook into the existing uh, security principles, the Postgres primitives, uh, so grants for uh, column visibility and then row-level security policies. That becomes a lot easier to build out and test if we have it embedded directly in the database. So that's the user-facing reason. The other is um, having at a, on a hosted platform, you don't want to have, uh, or you want to have as few uh, moving parts as possible. And so by putting it directly in the database, we can remove a lot of the complexity that would come from having a second uh, or third or fourth independently managed standalone process running on the background. Just to wrap it up, once again, thanks to the Guild for, for making the example and working with us over the past few months to make this a really awesome release. And um, definitely go check out the Guild, follow them on Twitter, um, go and check out their release today. It's a big one. And um, if you're interested in playing around with PG GraphQL, um, please go check it out um, on our repo, give it a star, um, share it with your friends and your family down at the library and the pub, uh, <laughs> wherever you like to hang out and uh, definitely test it out. And if you have any feature requests or you spot any bugs, that's what we're here for. Please do share them on the repo and we'll try and make this as awesome as we can and um, make the Superbase platform even better. Launch week 5 starts on 15th of August. Make sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss a moment.